This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast with the Matchroom Bubble, head of Tomorrow Night Show, live on Sky Sports and DAZN. I'm joined by Terry Harper. First of all, how are you and how's the hand? Uh, I'll just do that. That'll explain it. No, it's all good to be fair, um, obviously. Just had, just come out of surgery Wednesday. Um, but now I'm just seeing it as I'm on the road to recovery. Can we kind of backtrack as much as you don't want to think about it, but can you talk us through how this exactly happened? Um, so I've just had, obviously back in November, last fight, snapped the hand. Um, I had surgery then. Um, Christmas time, like an idiot, tried to use like use a man too early opening a jar, um, snapped the plate. So then we went for the checkup and scans, and luckily there were enough new bone formation and. Um, Mike were confident it's going to be solid and um, so all, all throughout camp no problems at all with the hand I've been hitting the heavy bags I've been sparring doing rounds after rounds um, on the pads and everything just using it as normal and then come up to the last spar of camp you couldn't write it um, landed a shot and I could feel it straight away and I just instantly knew took the gloves off and like it just hit me like straight away I got booked in uh, back with Mike we went and Went and had scans the next the next morning. Uh, Mike couldn't really see any any like physical changes. So we did all the angles and the measurements, and uh, it all looked uh, fine. So we were then thinking it's just soft tissue damage. Um, but then we went and had a CT scan, and it shown like as broken. So um, Andrew made the decision to to not fight and just not risk it. It's too big of a fight to be going in there with one hand. Yeah, as gutted as you will be. The magnitude of the fight was so big where he had to go into the ring 100%. You know, he, I know boxers go into the ring with niggles and little things that they hide, but something like that, it, it had to be right, otherwise it's not worth risk. Yeah, and, and obviously I'm 24 years old. Like My career's only just started, and i got to sit back and think as well. I could have done further damage, um, but like obviously now it's fixed and on healing hopefully it heals well um, I'm going to take extra care at this time and um, yeah hopefully this is just the start of my career and I've got plenty of big nights ahead. Absolutely um, I suppose it's far too early to tell when a rescheduled fight with Choi can happen at this stage is that right? Yeah see I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that fight can happen but uh, I ain't got a clue with all this um, Obviously, she Choi might want to get out and get um, and be fighting. Um, obviously, she's just had a, a full camp as well. She were, I've heard that she was more or less bored in the plane uh, before she got the call that the fight's the fight's off. So um, she, obviously, she's itching to get out. Uh, but I ain't got a clue when I'll be fighting again. Uh, I know it's definitely three months no punching with the hand. Um, so. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay on top of my fitness and all my cardio and stuff, but, yeah, I'm not rushing anything. Is it a bit weird or frustrating to come into a fight bubble knowing that this was the show that you were supposedly headlining? Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of sweet, really. Um, it's kind of look what you could have had, but do you know what? If, if I didn't come down, I'd just be at home feeling sorry for myself and probably crying on City um, and eating, eating my sorrows away. Uh, but yeah, it's nice, it's nice to get down and obviously support the lads, uh, Jason and Lee, who are also fighting on the on the bill and uh, kind of went through camp with them. So I'm, I'm just here to now nah, enjoy the bubble, but obviously with less stress and just enjoy the boxing. I feel like Steffi would be very offended if I didn't kind of bring him in because he's been jumping in on everyone's interviews, even the opponents' interviews. Steffi's been jumping in on. I'll see if he's available. Steffi, where are you? You got a second? Have you got a second? Look, straight over, I told you. Didn't even batter an eyelid. Terry comes straight over. I'm saying, can we, are you sure you were up? Yeah, definitely want to come in it. Oh, you do? Right. This is Terry. Can you stand a little bit closer together so we can get you both? Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, listen, we obviously know what happened because we've been kept up to date on social media, but yeah, it was heartbreaking, really, yeah. for, for Terry to, to miss out on this. Uh, fight with Troy this weekend but like I said health and her recovery comes first yeah 100% I mean it was it, when we were sat there I can remember it we sat there with Mike and he's telling that state of injury and what needed needed to be done she's looking at me saying I can win with one hand I can't 
find it all the on. Kiddings. <laughs> Kiddings. Yeah. I can we beat it with Did you actually say that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've, I've done it once or So while. so she had a mask on, just covering this. So all I could <laughs> see were eyes and I and I just looked at Mike and goes, Nope, there's no fight and she looked at, I can remember your eyes looking at me like that, you could see him filling up. Yeah. And it was like now we your career means more to me. You as a person, I said, I care too much about you to be going in. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a unification. It was main event on a on a big event like this Saturday night. All eyes on it, anything. You've got to be positive and think everything happens for a reason. And that reason, I'm telling myself and I'm telling Terry that that could have snapped in, in the fight. Lost, lost your unification and then boom, back to the drawing board start. And again, uh, the positives are she sat at top of tree she's a uh, world champion this fight will just get pushed back it's not like she's losing anything it's just we'll be more positive and we're going to be more meticulous in what we're doing i'm determined to make terry a much better fighter on back of what we've got we're going to be working very hard a couple of weeks off and, and back to work as terry just pointed out as well at the age she's at 24 she's got time to kind of let this heal and, and kind of do this the right way she's in no yeah, rush to no, kind of yeah no, no rush whatsoever i mean we won't do anything unless uh, unless we've got the hundred percent certainty of Mike, the surgeon, to to ex to do other things, and someone's acting very daft behind you, which is uh, Latif Mohammed. But yeah, we're we're going to be doing everything correct. We're not. Gonna, there's no rush, and like you say, Terry has sat at the top of tree at just just 24 years young. We haven't even started this process yet. It's only just the journey's just beginning. Um, Terry, can I get a, a reaction from you to um, the fight between Taylor and Jonas uh, two weeks ago? Very good fight, um, very competitive. I know a, f a few people who I spoke to, they were coming up um, thinking Katie were just going to go out there and breeze through the fight. And you know what, Tasha, Tasha's, a very, Tasha's shown everyone what she can do and that she's, she's elite, she's up there. and. Um, very good fighter and I'm glad it was as competitive as it was because it's, that's given me confidence like on one of my worst nights um, I held my own against Tash and obviously Tash has gone in, in there with one of the like one of the greatest females uh, in my opinion and, and put on a performance like that so I, I can only take the positives from that and um, yeah it's boosted my confidence massively. And this weekend obviously we've heard Metrum have announced the signing of Sandy Ryan um, who will turn who has turned professional, will make a debut at fight camp in the summer. Uh, Ellis Hopkins becomes the first travelling girl to turn professional, so it's all happening. Yeah, I'm, I'm a massive fan of Sandy. Uh, like I used to fan girl over, and I know when Andrew yeah. Andrew got a dance at gym once, and I was like, oh my God. So um, I think it was a no-brainer for match room to snatch Sandy up. Uh, very, very good talent, and yeah, again, for Ellis making the debut, uh, on Saturday, it's, it's exciting times for her and uh, I hope she goes out there and enjoys every minute. I just want to say with you, Steffi, like, I know it's been really hard to get you into interviews this week. You've been very oh, reluctant. Been really it's been really reluctant to do it, but I appreciate you jumping in on even opponents' interviews. Yeah, yeah, it's, not, yeah. it's not been a problem at all, to be fair. I mean, I do turn a lot of interviews down, Kogi, but I know you've had struggling to get the right people on this week, so I thought I'd step in at the right times, and I've done well. I'm We're never struggling to get the right people on. We just, you know, we get who we get on. But, um... Yeah, we look forward, obviously, uh, going to be a busy night for you. Jason, uh, Lee, big fights. It's still exciting now. Teammate Terry's around him. There's going to be a good buzz still. And the show must go on. But we're, we're here to win. OK. Um, anything else you'd like to say, first of all, Terry, before we finish? No, no. Was... Why did you look at him and went, no? I thought his job's fucked, but... <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag, the, the job's way. fucked. <laughs> Careful what you say out there because it'll end up on a title. Do you remember that? And you know that as well. Yeah. Didn't you, you slag? Yeah. Go on. <laughs> okay, now. Um, yeah, it's all good. Guys, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV and, uh, yeah, weighing, weighing in in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we look forward to tomorrow night. Brilliant.